Hello everyone present here. Welcome to my virtual classroom. It's a great place to be here with you all. Hope you all are fit and fine. In today's session, we will be covering chapter number 7, 14, 15, 16 and 18 of GK. This session gives you information about plants, currencies of countries, some important abbreviations, important days and name of some countries and their capitals. So let's start with chapter number 7. In this chapter, we will discuss some interesting facts about plants. But before this, I would like to ask, do you see plants and trees almost everywhere around us? Wondering, why are they so important? Plants are very important for us. Firstly, they are important for the air we breathe. Plants release oxygen which we breathe in and help us to survive. Secondly, plants provide delicious food and fruits like juicy watermelon and yummy lettuce in our burger. Students, do you know that there are more than 3 lakh plant species around the world? So, the first plant I would like to tell you about is Venus flytrap. They are carnivorous plants. These plants attract insects and small animals to their mouths by secreting a sweet scent. They normally stuck until the mouth begins to close. The hairs on the mouth are used to trigger the trap once the animals touch them. The next flower is Rafflesia arnoldi. It is the world's largest, heaviest and one of the most stinkiest flowers in the world. It is known as queen of the parasitic organism. This flower grows up to 3 feet in height and weighs around 10 kg. It takes about 9 months to bloom but a small life cycle of 5 to 7 days. It is reddish with white marks on all of its five petals. Now the last plant is touch me not. The characteristic feature of this plant is its leaves fold or shrink inwards on touch and they reopen after few minutes. They also produce flowers which are pale pink or purple in color. So now it's time to do book exercise. There are some clues given to you and you have to fill Phillips with appropriate answers. So the first one is Dash is the world's largest and heaviest flower. It emits a false smell to attract prey. This flower weighs around 10 kgs. Try to guess answer students. Okay fine. Might be you have guessed. So its correct answer is Rafflesia arnoldi. Now move to next fill up. Dash is a plant which feeds on insects. Its leaves look like flowers to attract insects and closes as soon as an insect sits on them. Any guesses students? Yes, Venus flytrap. Now the last one is Dash, as the name suggests, is a very sensitive plant. It has small green leaves that close on being touched or shaken. The leaves reopen after some time. And its answer is touch me not. Now here we have ended up with chapter number 7. Now the next chapter number is 14 which talks about currencies of different countries. Every country in the world uses a different currency. Some countries also have same currencies. Now, what is currency? Currency is the system of money being used in a particular country. Have you seen currency of your country? Yes? Okay, great. So tell me, what is the currency of India? 
Wow! Yes, your answer is correct. Rupee is the currency of India. Now, have a look on the currencies of some other countries. Canada, United States of America and New Zealand have same currencies and their currency name is dollar. Euro is the currency of Germany. Pound sterling is the currency of UK. Pound is the currency of Egypt. Now we have Italy. Lira is the currency of Italy. Swiss franc is the currency of Switzerland. Afghan Afghani is the currency of Afghanistan. Ruble is the currency of Russia. Yen is the currency of Japan. Rial is the currency of Saudi Arabia. Then we have Bangladesh. Taka is the currency of Bangladesh. Rial is the currency of Iran. Bahat is the currency of Thailand. Kron is the currency of Greenland. Sloty is the currency of Poland. Now, Dubai and UAE have same currency and their currency name is Dirham. Okay, so this is your book work and as you can see that we have just discussed the name of the currencies of all these countries and among all these, the most traded currency around the world is the United States dollar. Now, move to our next chapter that is chapter number 15 countries and capitals as you know that new delhi is the capital of india similarly all the countries of the world have different capital cities so come let us learn the capital of various countries around the world so the first one is Canada. Ottawa is the capital of Canada. London is the capital of United Kingdom. Rome is the capital of Italy. Next we have United States. So Washington DC is the capital of United States. Berlin is the capital of Germany. Canberra is the capital of Australia. Breslia is the capital of Brazil. Cape Town is the capital of South Africa. Athens is the capital of Greek. Then we have Bern is the capital of Switzerland. Moscow is the capital of Russia. Riyadh is the capital of Saudi Arabia. Kuala Lumpur is the capital of Malaysia. And wow, as you all know, New Delhi is the capital of India. And then we have Spain. Madrid is the capital of Spain. Kabul is capital of Afghanistan. Islamabad is the capital of Pakistan. Dhaka is capital of Bangladesh. So this is your book exercise. And now I hope you all are able to do this comfortably. So now... Our next chapter is about abbreviations. So class, do you know what are abbreviations? Yes, an abbreviation is a shorter form of a word. Supposingly the word is too big. So what we have done here, we have just created a shorter form for that word. So here we have some important abbreviation which we use in our daily life like RAM, CPU, WWW, LAN, DVD, PC. So these all are abbreviations. Now one by one we will also know about their full form. So the first one is PC and its full form is personal computer. Next one is CPU, which means Central Processing Unit. 
Then we have DVD which stands for Digital Versatile Disc. Next is LAN which means Local Area Network. Then we have CD means Compact Disc. Wi-Fi which means Wireless Fidelity. RAM means Random Access Memory. ROM stands for Read Only Memory. Then we have www which means World Wide Web. UPS uninterruptible power supply. Okay, fine. So this is exercise given in your book and I am very sure that you all can solve this exercise with a great ease. Now it's our turn to move towards our last topic which is important days. As you all know in India, there are so many important days that we have celebrated like West different countries are famous for some great unique days filled with enthusiasm. So let's learn about some important days of few countries. So the first one is Harbour International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival. It is an annual winter festival that takes place in Harbour, China. And now is the largest ice and snow festival in the world. During the festival, there are ice lantern park touring activities held in many parks in the city. Now next one is Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. It is a hot air balloon festival that takes place in New Mexico during early October. The Balloon Fiesta is a 9-day event. The event is the largest balloon festival in the world. Then we have Yi Pan Lantern Festival. It is the world's largest lantern festival held in Taiwan. It is celebrated in the month of November every year. Then we have Cherry Blossom Lantern Festival. It is one of the biggest and most popular festivals in all of Japan. It is celebrated with picnic, parties and sake during spring. Then we have Ajitagut Art Festival. Every year in the month of July, as a part of Ajitagut Art Festival, over 3000 colorful umbrellas are hung over the main street of Portugal. The shades of bright colors of the umbrellas create a dreamy atmosphere of festive mood. Then we have Songkran Festival. Songkran is Thailand's most famous festival. This water festival marks the beginning of the traditional Thai New Year. It is celebrated on 13 April every year. Next one is Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland is one of the world's largest electronic dance music festivals. It is held in Belgium. Then the last one we have, Carnival. The Carnival of Venice in an annual festival held in Venice, Italy. The festival is world famous for its elaborate mask. Okay, fine. So this is your book exercise. Okay. I hope you all can do it. So the first one is the dash is the largest ice and snow festival in the world. Try to guess its answer students. Great. Its answer is Harbour International Ice and Snow Sculpture Festival. Now next one is Dash is the largest gathering of hot air balloons in the world. And its answer is... Yes, Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Now move to next fill up. Dash is the world's largest lantern festival held in Taiwan. And its name is... Yi Pang Lantern Festival. Next one, Dash is one of the biggest 
and most popular festivals in all of Japan and its name is Cherry Blossom Lantern Festival. Now move to next. In Dash, over 3000 colorful umbrellas covered the main streets of Portugal. And which festival is this? Yes, it's Agitigute Art Festival. Now the last one is Dash is celebrated on 13 April every year to mark the Thai New Year. And this one is called Songkran Festival. I hope you all enjoyed this session. So we'll meet you next time. And for this time, thank you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Take care.